Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all, Leisure Suit Larry 6. Ugh! What a weird introduction. And finally, it took a while to show up, but the Maid's Cart is finally here! The highlight of the, our visit to La, La Casa Lada is the Maid's Cart. But there's a lot of stuff we can do with the Maid's Cart. Like, we can look at it. The Maid's Cart is filled with the usual towels and washcloths, plus lots of other freebies which she places in the guests' bathrooms. Funny, you haven't seen any of this stuff in your bathroom. Now, no one can tell me that whenever they go to a hotel, motel, holiday inn, you guys will get that reference, that you don't just swipe whatever you want off the maid's cart. Like if the maid's cart's sitting there with all their little bags of cheap coffee and towels and nice fluffy things, you just don't be all like, I'll take this, 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 and this, thank you very much. Well, I do. We need everything. Let's take everything we can get our hands on. How about some more towels? Leave some towels for someone else to filch. Mm, fine, I already got a towel. Whatever. So, uh, toilet seat cover or uh, ass gasket, as we used to call them. I could use these for tracing paper. I'm not sure what you need them for, but hey, maybe that's a hint. I can't remember exactly what we need it for. Maybe that's it. I can always use some more dental floss. Oh, the dental floss. Part of my least favorite puzzle in the game. I think we can go around and look at the other side, but you can also sort of see that bottle over there. A package of thin paper toilet seat covers rests on the cart. No. There we go. All right, so now toilet paper, sure. She was probably going to give you a fresh roll of toilet paper today anyway. Probably. Let's grab one of these washcloths up here, which not sure why we couldn't see those from the other side. I'll bet the maid was going to leave me a washcloth. All right, and soap. Use this when you want to make a good impression. Oh, the hints. There's so many hints. Hand cream might be good for those itchy palms of yours. Oh, should we, guys? Should we just go ahead and do that? Yeah, we're right here. Let's, let's go ahead. Just a quick visit to the bathroom here. Um, just for some extra points. Uh, let's... Actually, do you get points for this? Let's put the let's put the toilet seat cover on the lid here. Good idea. Yeah, you do. You bend over the pot and carefully install an ass gasket. He sounds so unhappy to be saying that. Oh, gigantic buttocks. I think if you wait long enough, you get like your average. Actually, I could probably hit the buttons and do that. Let me see. Oh God, make it stop. Well, as long as we're down here, you know, if you're ever on the toilet for a long period of time, you probably just need something to read. Suddenly, you are happy you decided to pause to study the brochure. Whoa, look! This thing is filled with pictures of naked women! Damn those big, unfeeling travel corporations. They'll do anything to entice innocent young males to their resorts. And besides, you already told us. You know exactly what was on that to begin with. Uh, well, I mean, no one's... No one's looking. Probably time for a little bit of Larry alone time. Pure aloe vera hand lotion. I I love that gag so much. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Everything seems quiet. It's just me in my room here. Just uh, have a little bit of that there, Larry. There you go. Well, since nobody's watching, and you asked. There he goes! Look at him go! Oh man, the chafing that must be happening in that room right now. Oh, hello! Who notices me? Oh, and spoiler, there's the girl from the uh, front desk with her buns of steel and various other things. Everyone's checking me out. Come take a look at the Larry Show. Larry and Bucephalus. Oh, and Al's here. Hey, Al! How humiliating. A huge crowd of people watching you in your most personal moment. Possessing absolutely no self-control, you refuse to stop before you go blind. Go blind? Is, is that a... Is that one of those uh, little tall... T I didn't know you can go blind from it. I know about the Harry Palms one. Alright, that's one of the... The more involved Easter egg deaths in Leisure Suit Larry 6. Everyone comes to go and see you totally All right, well, we try again. Let's get the points back that we that we lost, because we got points for the toilet seat cover. Good idea. You bend over the- Oh, the points are still there. Interesting. Ah. That wasn't me. 
<laughs> yeah, that I clicked on the toilet tank, you jerk. All right, up, get up, up. But shouldn't you have wiped first? Oh, I lost points. You, you wipe while you're still on the... What? Is that a thing? Wait, sit back down, Larry. Good idea. I think that permanently costs you points. Good idea. Yeah. Whoa. I did not know the game could screw you that badly because I think there is a bonus of some sort if you're able to get maximum points in this game. Hang on. Good idea. There we go. I am not going to be lost on points just because I didn't know the proper 90s way to wipe when you're on the toilet. There we go. And uh, flush. You flush the toilet. Good boy. Good boy for me. All right. And a good boy always washes up. Oh, right. The brown Yuck. water. I almost, I almost forgot about that. Let's get that fixed up as long as we're here. Housekeeping or services. I'm just going to leave that bed running at all times because I like the white noise. Building maintenance, landscaping, and grounds. Please, may I be helping you? Yeah, I've still got brown water. Sir, this is maintenance. I believe you're looking for the infirmary. Huh? Oh, wait, not me. <laughs> I mean, the water coming out of the sink in my bathroom is brown. Oh, but you did not say that. Please let me look. Ah, yes, you did call earlier. Yes, sir. It says here on the computer we dispatched an adequate plumber a few minutes ago. I'm sure he'll be there soon, if he isn't in there with you already. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, so apparently I did call, but the plumber never came. Now, it's like the maids. Like, they'll never show up if you're in the room. So, uh, hi. Think of all the- Apparently there's an Easter egg with her as well. If your timing is really good, you can interact with her, but I'm not gonna- I'm not too fussed about it. Alright, so let's- Let's see if the classic leave and come back trick works. There he is. How you doing, bro? So the game was actually smart enough to know that if I just like went out and came back in, the plumber would have actually no way to get in there. So I had to go like down and like do a lap around the-, the facility and then come back up. Hey, man. Mark, the spa plumber, lies under your sink working hard to correct your brown water. Now, I know the reason we have Mark here in the first place is that we need that wrench he's working on, but I forget how we're supposed to get it from him. Thanks for coming so fast. Don't. I wish I had a dollar for every time I heard that. Huh? No, I, I mean, thanks for fixing my sink so quickly. <laughs> is it done yet? Done? Already? Give me a break! You know how many things I gotta get done today? I got people waiting everywhere! You think you're the only person in this place with plumbing problems? You guests are all alike! I'm so busy, I don't have time to take a crap anymore! Yeah, I can tell by the way you wear your jeans. Gosh, I'm so sorry you're so busy. How about if I get out of your way? <laughs> See you later. I'll just wait in my room or something. Oh, yeah, good idea. The sooner you leave me alone, the sooner I'll get this done! All right. Jeez, what an asshole. Jeez, what an asshole. All right, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. I can maybe just interact with him. Ooh, hey, that tickles. Hey, what are you, some kind of fag? Get your hands off Whoa. of me. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, calling me. Okay, you're the one who's laughing and giggling like a schoolgirl. Can I just pick him up? Can I carry him around the hotel? Say, I bet he'd never miss a simple adjustable wrench. Not sure how you're supposed to know about that, but there it goes, and then our business with Mark is completely concluded, and thank God for that. And usually, it's like you'll just walk around for a while, he'll walk around and say, Hey, everything's fine. Speak of the devil. I got your water problem taken care of, Mr. Leper. You won't have any more troubles now. Thank you. If I do, I'll ask for you. How did I know that? He does have a crowbar too, but I don't think I need one of those. He, he was perfectly civil at that point. Everything was fine. Go ahead, bed. You vibrate away. All right, now what can we do? Um, now that we have a wrench and all that kind of stuff, 
I think we might even have everything we need to start maybe repairing the cellulite drainage salon. I almost completely forgot about that. Let's go. Let's start actually winning some favors, winning hearts and minds the Larry Laffer way. <laughs> All right, now, is it locked is the thing because it's been closed forever. Nope, they let you run around in here all you want. Wow, this reminds me, this is so LucasArts, so Day of the Tentacles, so Spaceballs. Let's take a look around because this machine will kill you if you try to run it without everything being fixed. I, I think I remember what needs to be done, but let's find out for starters. These tanks contain the cellulite removed from patients. Pro still? You should probably drain that. The probes are designed to be inserted into a patient's body at the point from which the cellulite is to be removed. Hmm, I was expecting something a little bit more humorous. Okay. Well, there's an obvious problem here. Is there, oh, is there anything in these drawers? Coyly opening every drawer in the table, you discover that Dr. Swinebutt cleaned out more than just his patients before he left. All right, nothing in here that we can find. Hidden boobs, found them. Still gonna make that a game. I guess let's see if there's like a hidden phallus or hidden breast somewhere in every screen. All right, well, here's the obvious problem. There's a huge hole in the main vacuum line. Hmm, what can I use to solve that? Uh, what about this like rubber thing? While that might fill the hole, it would never form an airtight seal. Airtight seal, okay. Er, I don't remember how to fix that. Actually, I wonder if I actually turn the machine on. I don't think it kills you, does it? Uh, saving. All right, let's see. Well, there's definitely that hose. All right, oh, that's, that's not looking too good over there. Hmm. It looks like there's a problem with the piston. Piston. Perhaps I should check it out more closely. Uh, yeah, let's turn it off before, no, let's turn it off first, you idiot. Perhaps that piston just got a little too hot before it exploded. Okay, well, fine. I don't think I'll lose any points for that. So let's lube the piston in the most suggestive way possible. Wait a minute. Just notice something. This rabbit hole went a little bit deeper than I thought. Notice the piston. These kind of look like legs and this. Yeah, yeah. Use your imagi imagination there a little bit. All right. Well, let's lube it up. Let's help this thing move in and out nice and smooth. A little bit of lard will fix that up, I bet. Just kind of dance next to it. Everything will be fine. You carefully rub the lard. Whoops. All right. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a joke about it being suggestive in there somewhere. Okay. So now, that's been lubricated. Let's see what else the problem is. Okay. That's looking good. I mean, definitely got a problem there. You'll never be able to suck hard enough with a hole that big in your hose. All right, so fix the hose. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, what's hmm. this? Oh. There seems to be a problem with that hose. Perhaps I should go check it out. Yeah, check it out nice and close. Up, Larry. She's gonna blow. Boom. Go ahead. Take a shot of the lemon. Go ahead. Right in the face. Go ahead. You, you, just, there you go. In your worst nightmare, you never imagined yourself dying by drowning in cellulite. Well, I don't think there was any cellulite to pump out, but... Tevs. All right, so let's take a look at this hose here. These pipes must transport... No, no, I don't care about the pipe. Several bolts hold the filter tank's lid firmly in place. Filter tank. All right, that's what we need. Well, fortunately, that's why we grabbed the wrench. That's the puzzle that used to slow me down a lot. You cleverly loosen the bolts holding the filter tank's lid in place with your handy wrench. All right, and... All right, what's going on in here? Looks like there's a Fram air filter of some sort in here. The tank contains a removable filter that's in extreme need of a good cleaning. Aha! There was the problem. So it can't pass from here to here because the filter's all clogged up. Let's get that sucker out of there. Ugh. The cellulite drainage salon's filter is totally clogged with a white, viscous substance with a sour aroma a little like spoiled seafood. Mmm, let's carry that around in our pockets. I'm sure that's able to get us some favors. Okay, let's, uh, where can I clean that? Of oh, the kitchen, duh. We can do this. Hey, Gary. There we go. Just a quick trip to the kitchen sink should clean this up nicely. 
Oh, we even put it through the dryer. Well done. Good job, Larry. Oh, that's a washer. All right, well, whatever. Tacos de Carlos wife. Is that what that says? Does this say wife? Why those cheap cor- and Why those cheap- Nah, it's not gonna tell us. Uh, let's see. I know there was something else we can do. Oh, wait, I know what we can do while we're in here. You remember how last time we were here, the uh, they made a real big deal about pointing out this tire? This tire has plenty of high pressure air inside. All right, that's, yeah, we care about that because now we're carrying around this little pool float. Why would a ritzy resort like La Costalata pass out uninflated flotation devices? Well, because you found that one on the ground, Larry. That's your problem. But I think we can fill it up using the tire nozzle and the air. Let's do it. Cleverly realizing the truck's tire is a source of pressurized air, you press the beaver's inflator onto the tire's valve stem. Not sure if it works that way. There we go. Put in your pants. I uh, hope that was good for you, too. Yep, and now I have an inflatable beaver in my pants. You're just waiting for some joke about a full beaver, aren't you? No, no, not really. I'm glad you abstained in some sort of backwards way. All right, anyway, so that's our job in the kitchen done. Back to the cellulite drainage salon. And we'll reinstall this bad boy, close it up. Uh, probably should seal it, I guess. That would probably come back to bite me somehow. You tighten down the lid. Yep, points. Knew that was necessary. Now, what can I use for to fix this pipe? I don't think I have what I need yet. I don't suppose a towel would fix it, would it? No, that's not even close. Are you just guessing, Larry? Yeah, I think one of the easiest sort of chain of events that you can start here is there's one person we haven't met yet. And I think that's uh, Burgundy, who's down in the lounge. There she is, and she sings a nice jaunty little tune, a country western singer, very reminiscent of the the jugs in the next game. Actually, I think it's the same song. Written by the telephone The sort of girl a little man could take And then leave alone In high school I was voted Miss Congeniality But then I asked myself why am I doing it for free? Oh, God. Okay, we'll finish up this song later. Let's see if we can interrupt things a little bit. Oops, sorry. Hey, what happened to my mic? How am I supposed to perform with no PA system? I buzz for a stage hand, Borg, and he's coming right away, okay? It's pretty obvious. Anyone who's been in the business for more than about an, an hour can see... Oh, okay, well, whatever. We might listen to the rest of that song a little bit later on, but I think that just goes on perpetually. Did you notice how she was singing about a man from Lytton? Uh-huh, you guys play Police Quest? She must be the girlfriend of Sonny Bonds, or maybe somebody else in the entirety of the Lytton PD. Sorry, sidetracked. Excuse me, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> um... Anything to say back? You're just going to stare at me? Why? What magnificent arms you have. Burgundy is a gorgeous woman dressed in a heavily sequined red cocktail dress covered with beads and jewels that seem strangely out of place in a blues bar. I want to take a look at her She's arms. She's dressed more like a country singer than a blues singer. Regardless, her bright red hair and brilliant green eyes make you want to hear whatever she's singing. Well, I can't learn anything about her magnificent, lovely arms, which Larry is so, oh, so attracted to. And it's like, that's really hard to do. Why would you, ow? I'm posing like her, putting my hand on my shoulder like that? That really hurts. I don't think the human body really bends that way as a way to relax. Ow. Oddly, the game is also being kind of respectful about her, I guess, because she's more or less fully clothed. So she's like, hey, she's a good singer and stuff instead of, wow, look at that. Burgundy's green eyes sparkle with the fire of hundreds of old trash barrels burning in the night, while myriad country song lyrics bounce around inside her head like so many June bugs preparing to copulate themselves into oblivion with some backyard bug zapper. It's more making fun of the fact that she's from the country, and then instead of doing its usual thing of being all like, hey, look at them bodacious blah 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 blah. Would you say your name was Cowboy? Larry something? Laugher. <laughs> huh, laughter, huh? 
My name's Burgundy. I'm pleased to meet you, Burgundy. All right, well, let's continue our conversation by clicking on you again, shall we? I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your singing. Why, thank you, little fella. You're kind of cute in a cur dog puppy kind of way. Didn't get a word of that. You know, I've never heard anyone sing the blues quite like you do, Burgundy. I sure hope not. Hell, honey, I ain't no goddamn blues singer. I'm country, through and through, and I'm proud of it. Country singer, huh? Then why are you working here in the blues bar? Why, I'm just killing time singing here while I'm waiting for my big break. You see, lots of record company execs like to hang out at ritzy spas like this and... Or at least so I've been told. Could I buy you a drink, Burgundy? She yes, you <laughs> sure could. I uh, like this little, I like her moxie. Certified dog drippings they serve in here. Man, could I go for a couple of lone stars, yeah. I think that's her way of saying, I don't want the fruit juice they serve here, but if you would just hand me these conveniently placed beers, which are probably super warm at this point, um, I'd be forever beholden to you. Here you go, he has a sixer. Hey, Burgundy, I found you some beer. Cold ones, long necks, yeah, boy, let me at them. The cold part is debatable. Ah, that sure hits the spot. Chug, 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 chug. Whee, it sure is hot in here. Burgundy is presently too intent on keeping her lips wrapped around those long necks to talk much. Oh, Gary's the stage Will you hand? hurry up, Gary? Her whining is even worse than her singing. Oh, you were such a jerk. I heard that. She's a great singer. You take it back. Uh, Gary's kind of stuck. Gary, do you want to move? Gary, can you, can you help us out? Help us out, buddy. I think I broke the game. Burgundy is... Oh, Not now, honey. I'm here on business. Well, get to it, jerk. Oh, no. I broke the game. All right, let's figure this out. Hang on. Oddly, I just had to go back and get some more beer because it crashed or screwed up, but I got more points for grabbing more beer. I don't know why. Oh, maybe she needs like 12 beers because she's country and she's a hard drinking kind of woman. That's all I can think of. Anyway, more beer. Let's try this again. I'll probably have to make this trip more than once. Ha! Trip. Oops. Get it? <laughs> it's funny. You look to me like you're still thirsty, Burgundy. How about another sixer? Beer? Yeah! -hoo! I'm so sick of this crap they're serving in here, I could just puke. Thank you, little buddy. Burgundy, never change. Well, I mean, we'll change eventually because I, I need your dress. You know, I really love this stuff. Ah, oh, damn it, Larry, I gotta have a break. Ain't you got privilege to the sauna? Sauna? Why, yes, Burgundy. I believe the sauna is open to all guests. Well, it sure ain't open to us performers. I could sure use a nice sweat about now. What do you say you and me get all sweaty together? In fact, I've been looking for a date to the sauna tonight for quite a while. I'm going to meet some uh, friends there later on. I'd be pleased if you would be my guest. Sounds good, little buddy. Just give me a minute so as I can get out of this damn heavyweight sparkly dress. You go on ahead. I'll meet you there in about two shakes of a cow's tit. <laughs> I am oh, cool. using that from now on. All right, fantastic. I guess she's going to take that sixth beer with her. Oh, well. Off to the sauna. Not sure why that's a plot point, but all right. Fan dabby dabby. So we're able to take care of two things at once. The Cav situation and the Burgundy situation all done together. You probably see where this is going. All right, I'll spare you all of that. Oh, yeah, you. You still need batteries, don't you? I completely forgot about you. You should probably get out of that mud at least at some point. That can't be good for you. I believe this is the sauna, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here we go. Hi, Burgundy. I'm so glad to see you're really here. I'm here all right, honey. 
mosey on over and sit down beside little old Burgundy. Oh, it's hotter than Fresno in here. Yeah, but it's a dry heat. Well, I do enjoy a sauna. Um, and especially with a woman as beautiful as you. Me too. Hot and sweaty is perfect. And we're alone. Um, not for long, Burgundy. Remember I told you how, um, I, I, I took the liberty of inviting another couple? This to me sounds like an error in judgment on Larry's part. It's like you have Burgundy alone in the sauna where she wants to be and have her all to yourself, and then you invite someone else along. Hi, Larry. Well done. Who's your friend? Cavarici Vornay, meet Burgundy Bodine. Berg, this is Cav. I don't think we ever learned her last name. Bonjour. How are you? Oh, she's French. So, I thought she was supposed to be Russian Cav, or German. Where's your date? Coming soon? Date? I didn't say anything about bringing a date. But of course you did. No. I asked if you wanted to double date. I consider this doubled. What's the matter, Larry? Can't stand a little competition? Don't tell me, Larry. This is not your first menage à trois. Hey, Larry, I don't know about this kinky crap. I'm just a plain old-fashioned country girl. You didn't say nothing about no menagerie come troy. Mm, all right. Well, this is one of those instances where, Larry, if you play your cards right, things will go very, very well. But Larry has no cards in his deck worth playing. Cavaricci looks even better wrapped in a towel than she did in that crop t-shirt. Burgundy's soft body is covered with tiny beads of moisture and wrapped only in a thin terry cloth towel. Larry, stop your grabbing. I just want to enjoy this dry heat for a few minutes first, okay? It's a little early to start that, Larry. Can't we have a little conversation first? Hmm. That was kind of surprising to hear you guys say, but alrighty, let's chat. Gee, girls, I've never been with two women before, especially two as beautiful as you two. Um, where do I begin? You're right, Larry. Burgundy is a beautiful woman. Just look at how those delicate beads of perspiration glide down her shoulders, across her chest, and disappear behind that totally unnecessary white towel. Oh, Cav, you're one to talk. Just look at you. That poor towel of yours is gonna be stretched completely out of shape by your sexy figure. It is getting hot in here. Larry, be glad you're sitting down. I've got an idea. Why don't one of you move over here to my left side, and then I can put an arm around both of you? That's an idea, Larry. Perhaps we'll do that later. But right now, I want to get to know Burgundy. Berg? I know I've seen you around here. Don't you work in the lounge? Tell me all about yourself. Everything. Oh, there's nothing much to tell. I'm just a simple country girl waiting for my big break in showbiz. Only took the job and I cost a lot as blues bar to fill in time between tours. Why, that's fascinating. But what's even more fascinating is watching the light dance in those Oh God, I'm gonna have to turn a hose on you. You're worse than the narrator, Cal. Oh, your smile, mon amour. I, I was gonna say that, Burgundy. You uh, <laughs> sure are pretty. Why, thank you, Cavaricci. Um, would you like me to turn down the temperature in here? Uh, are either of you uncomfortable? Uh, would you like me to rearrange the seating here? Uh, is anybody listening to me? 
burgundy. Your hair is so beautiful, soft and manageable, yet holds its shape so nicely. You are fortunate to be so blessed. All this? Anyone can have hair like this. Please don't hate me for my beautiful hair. When did I slip into a Pantene ad? Wow, it sure is... Oh, Cal, it is getting warm in here. My silver bracelet's so hot it's burning my wrist. Don't worry about that, Sherry. Let's talk more about you and me, hmm? Oh, Cav, I'm beginning to have the strangest feeling about tonight. It's not strange, darling. When things are right between two people, why fight it? Three people? Relax Three? and enjoy the new sensations. Larry's here. Hey, I want some new sensations too. All right, well, she took off her bracelet. I guess that's the plot point for the sauna. Uh, how about a little steam, girls? Here, let me pour a little water on the rocks. Oops. Sorry, I uh, spilled the whole bucket. <laughs> now it really is steamy, isn't it? Cav? Bird? What the? Shazam! No. Oh. Once again, Larry, the best man didn't win. And this time, you were in a one-man race. Once again, Larry, you snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. But hey, at least we got ourselves a kicky little bracelet out of the deal. A beautiful silver bracelet still lies on the wooden bench, right where Burgundy left it. Mine now. I'll be sure to return Burgundy's silver bracelet to her. Right. All right, well, that's what we get for the sauna. So Cavarici and Burgundy have all been wrapped up in each other. Can we take the bucket by chance? You don't need an empty bucket. I want the bucket. Can I take some coals? Good idea. Pick up a heavy rock that must be 400 degrees. I think it's a fantastic idea. Oh, well, well, let's come to some sort of like self-flagellation penance for screwing up so badly. I'm stuck on the bucket. And a quick shower to rinse off the stench of failure. We can get back to it. Hey, more points for more showers. Love it. And with Gary disapprovingly preening in the background, knowing somehow of our failure, I think we'll call that apart for now. So next time... Uh, let's see. Oh, who can we work on next time? Uh, we have everything we need to go to the pool. We can start going to the pool. Uh, oh yeah, and now we have the dress so we can, uh, go give Chablis what she needs. But we'll save that for next time. So, as always, uh, good night, Jelly Beans. Uh, good night.